Hey everyone, I'm Katie from Addicted to DIY and today I'm going to be showing you how to make this DIY chip shot golf game. This game is a fun combination of cornhole and golf and is something that the whole family can enjoy. I made this entire game set out of leftover plywood, but I do include a full materials list in the printable plans, which you can find the link to in the description below. Once I had the game boards cut out, I marked the locations for the holes to be drilled. The holes will hold standard 16 ounce plastic cups and are 3.5 inches in diameter. With the hole locations marked, I drilled 1 16th inch pilot holes where I'll add screws later to attach the top and build the frame. Like I said earlier, I used plywood for this entire project, but cut it to the dimensions of 1x4 lumber for the frame of the boards. I glued up the frame pieces and clamped them together using 1 and a quarter inch wood screws to attach them. While I was doing all of that, my husband was drilling the holes in the game boards with a 3 and a half inch hole saw. Once the holes were drilled, I added a bead of glue to the top of the frame and fit the top over it. I attached it with one and a quarter inch wood screws. For the legs, I rounded the tops of them on my bandsaw so they'd be able to rotate when attached to the frame. I drilled a 3 8 inch hole through the legs for the carriage bolts to run through. To attach them to the frame, I used a scrap 1x4 as a spacer, set the leg against it, and finished drilling the hole through the frame of the boards. I used 2 and a half inch carriage bolts and locking nuts to attach the legs. This allows the legs to be folded in and out without worrying about the nuts coming unscrewed and the legs falling off. I bought a 6x8 AstroTurf mat at Home Depot and used it to cover the tops of the game boards. I laid the game board out as a template and cut the turf with a sharp razor knife. Before attaching the turf, I painted a generous coat of contact cement over the top of the game board, then set the turf on top. I stapled the turf down with 5 8 inch narrow crown staples, working from one end to the other, flattening out the turf as I went. The staples will hold the turf in place and the contact cement will prevent it from lifting in certain areas as time goes on. I trimmed the excess turf from the sides, then cut out the turf where the holes were drilled. Don't throw those circles away though, they make for great coasters while you're outside enjoying playing this game with your friends. With the holes cut out, I added a few more staples in between all of them, just for a little extra security. For the legs to sit flush on the ground, I set up the boards and used scrap wood to mark the angle of the ground. I cut the angles with my jigsaw, then smoothed them out with a sanding block. This next step is completely optional, but helpful when you're wanting to take this game to places where there isn't any grass. I grabbed a scrap piece of plywood and attached a piece of turf to it using the contact cement and staples. This allows you to play the game on concrete, dirt, or even grass if you're worried about anyone leaving divots. This game is fun to play by yourself when you want to work on your chip shots, but also a fun game to play with friends and family. I've typed up a full set of family-friendly rules that you can follow, or you can just treat it like a good old-fashioned game of beer pong. For more tutorials just like this one, be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the bell icon so that you'll get notified when new videos are published. I've also queued up a few other videos that I think you might enjoy. Thanks so much for watching.